All right, I'm continuing updates for you guys. This is Saban or Sabin. I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to say it, but I call him Saban. Um, you can see he's got a pretty nasty uh, hole there in his head that unfortunately abscessed and stopped responding to broad spectrum antibiotics. Um, he was uh, adopted through our dollar program by one of uh, the trainers out there, Andrew Feist. Um, you know, Andrew gets a bad rap and it sucks that he does. And you know, some stuff that he has said is deserving. None of us are perfect, but I gotta say, the image that's out there on the internet about him is very unfortunate because he's actually a very soft and very um, compassionate horseman. Um, he's learning as he goes. He's a bull rider. Uh, he's not traditionally trained, um, you know, too much, but he knows his stuff and he's getting better, uh, better by the day and better by the horse. And, you know, I really did my research on him um, to be sure that the horses were going to be in good hands with him. And it sucks because the image that he has out there is that he's he's there for the bad horses or to fix all of the rank horses and he's actually a pretty really nice guy and he's really really soft with these horses and you know some of the videos that you guys have seen out there aren't that because he's dealing with some rank um you know rides but for the most part he is just a really genuinely caring soft guy who cares and i mean my phone blows up daily from him. He worries if the horse farts wrong, if the horse makes the wrong look, anything. Um, and so he caught on pretty early that Saban wasn't responding to the treatment uh, and he called us back and you know we got medical intervention pretty quickly but he can't eat very well because when he chews it hurts and so you can see he's lost a tremendous amount of weight. He is uh, under the care of a veterinarian. Um, Dr. Spini came out and worked on him but um, you know, it was just kind of one of those things where it got too far too fast before anybody realized how bad and deep this was. Um, and uh, I don't think he could have caught it any earlier. You know, he was calling us left and right, and he had his own veterinarian out. And, I mean, it sucks. You guys have been on the receiving end of not being able to eat when you've had your tonsils out or, you know, whatever it might be. And poor Savon here. Um ended up with that same predicament. So he's on the mend, he's moving on up, and uh, my hope is that he can go back to Andrew because they made a fabulous pair, but we wanted him here, um, you know, we didn't want to dump a horse on Andrew that had medical issues, and we certainly didn't, you know, want to wash our hands of it and be like, well, he's your horse now, sorry. Um, so, you know, we brought him back here, we'll take care of him, get him all back to fat and happy, and then he can go back into training because he was making fabulous progress. Um, we don't know what happened. Maybe he just bumped it on a pipe corral or, you know, who knows? He's kind of a, kind of a bratty horse. Um, he needs a job, but that is your Saban update. And as soon as he's ready, he's going back into training. All right. Bye.